Hi guys. It's currently quarter to one in the morning, so I'm going to keep this as quick as possible. Basically, for the last couple of days, I've just been working on my own bikes for a change. I've done all the bikes for my friends. The one I want, wanted to do to sell is done. And uh, there's a lot of my bikes that need a little bit of servicing, TLC, some tuning, etc. So I've been doing that. Uh, I started with the Schwinn. Uh, put the new back wheel in, set the gears up, set the brakes up, changed the handlebar. I can't remember if I actually mentioned about that in a previous video or not, so if I haven't, I have now. But uh, that's now done. Oh, I put the road tyres on it as well, the Schwalb ones. And that ride bloody nice. I've actually come to the conclusion that I like tyres like that better on the road. Nobly ones aren't good. They slow you down, there's too much friction. But uh, anyway. Then I bought the Giant upstairs, which is locked to the railings outside the front door. And I'll tell you that reason in a minute. Um, swap the wheels in that one. Because, as I said, the back wheel sat over to the left a little bit too far. Um which is just being too much of a hindrance with the brake. I couldn't get the rear brake to set up without it rubbing on the wheel. So I found a nice pair of standard alloy wheels and put those in there. Uh, with the Continental hybrid tyres on, you know, with the road tread round the middle and the knobbly bits around the side. Tuned up the gears. And... Uh, set the brakes up and away that went. That's done. Put a couple of reflectors on it because I hadn't done that. Didn't do that the first time I built it. Oh yeah, changed the bottom bracket as well for the sealed. Because uh, for some reason only the only bearings on one side of the bottom bracket had gone. Even though they are brand new bearings I put in there whenever I built the bike. It was sort of, must be about four or five months ago. Maybe even six months ago I built that bike. And apart from me using it two or three times just to pop to the sh um, to and from the shops. Which I think I used it twice. My brother used it a couple of times. That prick used it a few times. So it's only been used a few times and then be those bearings went. So of course to put the sealed bottom bracket in I had to take the cups out both sides of the bottom bracket. And um, the right hand side where your, your gears are on your crank, they were the ones that were gone. So when I got that cut out, I threw it in the bin. I wasn't going to trust it. Because if they've only gone on one side, then that indicates there's a problem with that cup or the axle on that side. So I threw the axle as well. I weren't going to trust either. I kept the ones on the left side because they were fine indicating that there was there's not an issue that side. So I stuck the um, sealed bottom bracket in, let's fix that problem. Um, and that was a bitch to get that bloody cut out of that side as well. Um, and uh, the last one I've been doing is Claude! He's got a new set of wheels in. The Pro Disc one is over there. Uh, I can't remember where I put the back one. It might be in the outside cupboard or it might be in the pile in the hallway. Um, I took the disc rotors off the Pro Disc and put on the new wheels. Just because they're the ones that have been used with those brake pads. So I figured that would work better than changing the brake discs. Uh, there's a very slight buckle in the front wheel, but I probably wouldn't even notice it. I'll go for a ride on it. If it bugs me too much, I'll just straighten the wheel out. I've got a jig up, Mum, so I can use it. But, I did notice that someone has stolen... I actually can't believe they stole it, personally, but 
they've stolen my light up dust caps that were on this and I only noticed it's been sitting out on the landing for a couple of weeks now and I've only just noticed it and it must have been done in the last couple of weeks and because I'm, I know for a fact they were on the bike when this was uh, downstairs in the shed. I know damn well they were on the bike when it was down in the shed. And I haven't left this one outside. And I haven't actually used this one for a while. Actually, the last time I knew they were on this bike, I haven't taken it out to the shops or anything. So I know it ha they haven't been stolen while it's been sitting outside a shop or anything. I know for a fact that it was done here. I've got a feeling I know who it was, because... Do you think a random person is just going to walk around the back of this building, up the stairs, and just randomly steal a pair of dust caps? I can't but like I said I've got my suspicions on who it was but I can't prove it <laughs> I hate that I hate when you suspect someone of doing something but you've just got no way to prove it and I'm not one to throw ac actual accusations at someone unless I can prove they did it a bit like that laptop I'd put money down that he sold my laptop, but again, I can't prove it, so. <sighs> Actually, I saw him in town early, and he did say hi, and I said hi back. I don't know, I just can't hold a grudge. I am still ticked off, though. But, uh... So yeah, um, that's why I locked the giant to the railing and I took the lights off. Because I can't trust anyone. That back door is actually meant to be shut all the time. And Victory Housing has sent us all letters a number of times now requesting that we keep that back door shut. For this reason, so people don't just come walking in off the street and knocking on your door. They're meant to be security doors. I don't mind, you know, like, the old girl and the old boy at the bottom leaving the door open while they go off to the shop or something. Because they're usually only sort of 10, 15, 20 minutes. That's fine. I do it. We all do it. But the only problem is, they don't shut it when they come back. So it's left open all day long. That's the bit that annoys me. And I've even gone down the stairs five minutes after closing it and found it wide open. So there's no reason for it to be wide open. In all honesty. The only reason I've got the little hooks on the wall so you can hook the door open is obviously for moving furniture in and out. Uh, for when people are either moving into the building or out of the building or buying new furniture. That's what it's there for. But I think if it keeps up, and if I do decide to put a complaint into victory, because at the moment, you know, I'm not feeling um, I'm not feeling secure with my own property at the minute. Because <clears throat> for seven and a half years, I've not had to lock the outside cupboard door or keep anything off the landing through fear of it being stolen, but now I have to. But uh, that is why I'm going to leave the Claude in here. Or at least I'm going to bring bikes into the flat on Sundays when I go out. When I'm out all day. So, uh, in the bedroom is my son Solo and the bloody rear reflector just scared the shit out of me because I saw a red light flash and I'm thinking what the fuck was that and it was just light reflecting off the reflector <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> I think this is actually the nicest road bike I've ever owned out of all of them. I've had some lovely racing bikes since I've lived in this flat. My Peugeot was one of my favourites. And, uh, but I think this is actually now the... Oh, I need a longer chain on that. <laughs> Mind you, it rides fine with, the, with that rear derailleur mech in that position. I don't know if you can quite see it in this light. That didn't help too much. Yep, both front and rear wheels do that. Can you see that? Reflective strip. Scotch light strip. They do that on the um, Schwinn as well. Because these are the same brand. Apart from these are for racing bikes. And the other ones are obviously for mountain bikes. But the front wheel does exactly the same thing if I... There we go. That's actually quite effective. And it makes you more visible from the side when you're sitting at a junction. Which is why I had the light up valve caps on my Claude Butler. But, uh, I was going to get started. They're cheap. I can get those on eBay, cheap as chips. You know. I could have, I've got four pounds in my PayPal. And I could go on eBay right now and probably buy a couple of pairs with that. They're that cheap. <clears throat> That's what I don't understand. Why would someone steal something that cheap? Are they that cheap themselves? <clears throat> I suppose I could see it as karma, because, you know, because of my past, you know, half-inching things, it's not something I'm ever proud of, but it's something I haven't done for donkey's years, so if it is karma, it's taken a long while to catch up to me. You know, I'm not going to worry over the bloody dust caps because like I said they're cheap as hell I'll just get a couple more but I just find it daft that someone's got to steal something so bloody cheap if he'd have asked me I'd have probably given the damn things to him because <laughs> one of them was shit anyway <laughs> See, one of them was it didn't work properly <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I was like, really? <laughs> you had to steal them? <laughs> oh, that's what I can do on my claw. I just remembered. Slip the pole across. Even my mum has said no, because I never used to lock the front door, to be honest. Because of the security doors downstairs, you know. Residents had to let you in, but because the door is left open all day... I can't trust that <laughs> now. somewhere in here. I've got to remember what drawer I opened that I found them in. Oy. I think it was in this stack somewhere. Oh, would you look at that first drawer? There's a couple of these. And they're two different ones. Two of the same ones would actually be a good idea. I don't know why I've got an odd one, but I've got an odd one show you what these do. If anything, they just make the bike look a bit tidier. What you do with these... Where you... Like... Where your, um... V-brake mounts... You just slot those on, that just tidies it up a little bit. I completely forgot I had them until I... Literally, just now look down at it. <clears throat> Got an itch. Those are the lights I put on the giant, but I might put um, a set of the lights that I had on this one on, like this rear light, if I can get it to go on, and this front light. Because I've decided I don't need two. 
high power front lights on this one's enough um, so I'm going to put on this on the front as you can see that is actually quite bright and this matching rear one on the rear for um, well basically for when I'm pootling around town just going to the shops because I don't really need anything that bright. I only really need... I mean, that's what it's like with the light on. If I just go and turn my lounge light off... Eh, can't really get the good effect up here, can you? I need to go outside with that, really. But uh, it's got dim settings, and uh, put it this way, I've had cars flash their headlights at me because of this. But like I said, it's got brightness setting, so that's on full. I'm going to take it down a notch. Take it down another notch. And off. And it's rechargeable. Rear one isn't, unless I put some rechargeable batteries in it. If I can find a pair, I will. I did have a pair, but I can't remember what I've done with them. Uh, ah, I'll just wait until Lidl's get there battery chargeable batteries and I'll get a pack of triple A's from there because I'm tronic ones are actually pretty damn good but, uh, I haven't charged that up since last winter actually when I bought it so that holds a charge really well <clears throat> I will give it a bit of a boost charge it's, it's just got a USB port underneath micro USB port I believe right Yep, I'll give this one a clean down. It's got its winter tyres on. <laughs> and I think if I come, or if I ever come across some more sort of hybrid tyres or road tyres, I might, um, well I could set these rims up with road tyres on, so come summer, I just swap the wheels over, you know, and go into summer mode because these sort of knobblier tires are really better suited for off roading. Because um, there's too much friction on the roads, hence why road bikes don't have knobbly tires. <laughs> but I've actually noticed the difference with my mountain bikes because. Uh, that Schwinn is quite light, and that Giant is pretty damn light as well. So, uh, I c I've actually got quite a bit of speed up with little effort as well. That's the bit I've noticed. With knobby tyres like this, I've got to put more effort into pedalling. So, I've pretty much got a choice of three bikes now to p cycle over to Mums with. Or Cat's custom trikes. I've, I'll actually have something a bit more comfortable and that's going to be a little less hard work because it's surprising how much difference that sort of tyre makes and if anyone doesn't know what I'm actually talking about I'd suggest riding two different mountain bikes with both types of tyre on and see which one you prefer oh, that's a 6061 aluminium frame Designed in England. Yep, Claude Butler is a British brand. And I've actually got it up here in the light. Sort of realising how nice this bike is. I've actually had compliments from random people when I've ridden it around. Ridden it around. Ridden it around. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's the real light off anyway. So it's even got the original Claude Butler seat on it. Starting to get a little bit tatty, but it's got its mud guards on for winter. Those Lombardo rims really do look nice in this. <laughs> That's just a shame. That's got a sleep buckle in that front wheel. Never mind. Anyway.
I'm jibber jabbering, so I'm going to turn this um, camera off. I did say I wanted to make it as quick as possible, but again, it's 20 minutes long, so bollocks to it. <laughs> it's gone one o'clock, so I've got to go to bed anyway. I'll be up in the morning. So I'll get this video up. It shouldn't take too long to upload it. And uh, bugger off to bed. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again maybe when I get home from Mum's tomorrow. Depends if I come home with any goodies. <laughs> I might come home with a shopper bike actually to sell. I've got to put a chain on it, but uh, I might just stick it up for 15 quid just to get rid of it. Anyway, I'll um, probably will talk to you tomorrow, so bye-bye.